everyone, this is JC from Craft Life, and I'm here today to teach you the Rain Balloon Basic Barefoot Sandals. This is what we will be making. And this is what they look like. You may have seen these on Facebook because they are on the Craft Life page. You may have seen these on Pinterest too. This is what they look like when they are finished. Okay. The supplies you will need are the Rain Balloon Mini Loom and its tool. I use crochet hooks. They won't break. Next you will need colors. You can choose as many colors as you want. You can have two colors, three colors, four colors, but I like three colors. Today I'm using black, pink, and blue. Are you ready to learn the basic barefoot rain balloon sandals? If not, pause the video, get your supplies, and get ready. Let's start with step one. You're going to need your mini loom, a rubber band, and your tool. I'm using a crochet hook. Start by placing your rubber band right here. Go around this sharp turn right there and head back to where you started. Let's review. You're going to start at this one. Make that sharp turn again and head back to your start. Ta-da! To begin, you need to stick your hook in, grab a rubber band, put that rubber band on your hook, pull it through, and stick it back on. Let's review. Stick your hook in, take a rubber band, put it on, pull it through, and stick it back on. Now we're going to do the next one. Take another rubber band, put it on the hook, pull it through that one, and put it back on. Take another rubber band, put it on your hook, pull it through, and stick it back on. This is the last one that I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it, put it on your hook, pull it through, and stick it back on. Continue this until you have reached your certain amount for your toe. Yay! I have finished my toe size 10 rubber bands. Hopefully you have finished your toe size too so we can move on. But before we do, I need to show you what may or may not happen to you. See how this is backwards from this? Well, you need to turn that all the way around without twisting your rubber bands up. And to do that, you need to pinch right here Pull this out and turn it. So you're going to stick your hook in that way. Push it in there. So you have fixed the problem. Now it can easily go in here. And we are ready for step three. This is step three. To begin, you're going to stick your hook in here and rip this off like that. So now you have four little loops on there. You're going to take one rubber band, any color that you have chosen, and put it on your hook, just like this, and pull it through these two. Stick it back on, just like that. Now, you're going to take another rubber band, and you're going to put it on your hook again, grab your thing, and pull it through, stick it back on, it should look like this, 
Now you're forming your toe to your ankle. And you're going to take another rubber band, put it on, pull this through, just like that, put it back on, just like we did before. We're going to continue the pattern. And we are going to take another one, put it on, flip it over, put it in, put it back on. And this is just like we did on the toe, except we're not going to loop it over. Um, you're going to take another one and pull it through and put it back on. You are going to do this until it fits your toe to your ankle and it needs to be fitting on your toe and touching your ankle. When this fits properly, we will move on to step four. I've just finished my length from my toe to my ankle. I use 14 rubber bands. You may need more or you may need less. I forgot to tell you that you need a C-clip. It's a piece of plastic shaped like a C. Now we are ready for step four, the ankle straps. Okay, you need to know that this will be shared by both ankle straps. I'm going to teach you how to make the first one and then I will teach you how to make the second one. Let's begin. Take a rubber band, pull it through like you normally would. Take another one. Pull it through, put it in, grab another, pull it through, put it in, then you're going to take another one, do the same thing, pull it through, and you're going to put it in, it's a night work, take one more, pull it in, put it through. Now you need to finish this until you have your length. Um, I have one already finished since you need to make a pair. So I'm just going to put this one aside. You finish yours. I'm going to show you how to put on a C-clip. Take your C-clip and pinch this right here. I find it easier to do it this way. Stick your C-clip in between both of them and pull it up so you get both of them stuck in here. Now I'm going to teach you how to make your second ankle strap. From here you are going to stick your tool in the one that is shared by both of them and grab a rubber band. Pull it through and stick it back in. So now you can kind of see the whole barefoot sandal there. That's shared by both of them. And you take another one, pull it through, place it in. Take another one, pull it through, place it in. Take another one, pull it through. Place it in and take one more look and place it in. Okay, finish this until, well, make it the same as this one. Your amount, and it should be equal on both sides. And then you will take, place this one on the C clip too. I hope you finished up your other ankle strap because we're going to get ready to put it on the C-clip. You can hold your C-clip and stick your finger in there and open it up. Take the C-clip and slide it in just like that. And you can pull it off and there you go. Now you need to make another one. I have made one. So now, I'll be right back. I'm going to go try them on. This is what they look like when they're on. I 
hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the basic barefoot sandals. Come on back to learn the advanced barefoot sandals. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching.